Veterinary Services. I apologize that we have not been able to post any videos lately. We've been insanely busy on the road. So we are now coming from the very exotic location of my garage. Yes, because we need to be able to show you today how we take radiographs on fish. So for this demonstration, obviously we're using fake fish. None of our equipment is plugged in, but I'm gonna go ahead and pretend to get ready and we'll show you how we do radiographs or x-rays on fish. All right, so I am now all gowned up in my lead apron. Remember, when you're taking radiographs and mixing around with x-rays, it's really important that you take all the safety precautions that you can. For radiographs, all of our patients are anesthetized. So for most of our physical exams, again, when you're working with a big muscly torpedo, they don't like to hold still and it's really hard to restrain them and make them hold still. So we use a lot of chemical restraint, which is what we're doing with the x-rays and radiographs. So fish is gonna be immobile this whole time. Um, sitting on a plate here, we use a digital x-ray system. So basically this generator here is going to fire, again, not plugged in, not on, is gonna fire the x-rays into this plate that the fish is sitting on, which is gonna be interpreted by the box over there. For this demonstration, there is no water involved. So usually this plate would be covered in a plastic bag. We don't have the waterproof system because this whole unit was expensive enough. So now that we have our fish positioned like this, we're gonna be taking a dorsal ventral view down through the fish. So for this, shut up and stop, beep. And then the fish would be put back in the tub. Obviously, big fish, he's already asleep. So once we have the dorsal ventral, so again, dorsal ventral, we're gonna be doing a lateral. For most fish, we're actually gonna be doing what's called a standing, which fish can't stand, a standing lateral, where we actually shoot where we actually shoot the radiograph perpendicular through the fish. Now this is very important with fish because with radiograph and x-rays, the most important structures that we're looking at are the swim bladder and the spine. And any fish that are having problems with buoyancy, we wanna take a really close look at the swim bladder. Now, if we're gonna do just a regular lateral and shoot them straight down, if there was say a pocket of fluid in the swim bladder, we really wouldn't see it that well. By propping the fish up like this, we're able to shoot through the swim bladder so all the fluid would collect in a pool on the bottom. And that way we'd be able to see if there was fluid in the swim bladder or not. So now that we have the position, get this ready, beep. And then the fish again would go back into the sedation. So what are you gonna do if your fish is not a koi? What if your fish is a little tiny goldfish? Well, this is actually a very large goldfish for these purposes. Uh, I've done one last week that was only about this big, but same properties apply that they're gonna do the dorsal ventral. For these guys, especially with the fancy, with those big round tummies, in order to get them restrained properly, I'll actually inflate two tiny Ziploc bags full of air and tape them down to the panel here. And then that will keep the little goldfish upright. So again, same as with the big fish, now that he's all positioned, get our unit ready, beep. And your fishy can go back into his bowl of drugs. Make sure that everything looks okay on the system. And then again, for the lateral view, this is especially important in fancy goldfish. We have to take this upright. Now, a lot of the times, the fish don't really sit upright too well. So we have a special magical one liter water bottle cut in half that has a nice little divot up here that goldfish just sit in so perfectly. It was made for them. So once again, they're out, anesthetized, sleeping fish. Get our rig ready, put it in place. There would be little red dots had we turn this on. Beep. And then that is everything. 
fish can go back into their anesthesia bowl if we need to do some more procedures or they can go ahead and start recovery. So that's the procedure. And now we're gonna look at a couple different images so you can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at with radiographs. This fish presented to our service for a pebble stuck in his mouth. Radiographs were taken to understand if it was just one pebble or multiple pebbles stuck along the GI. In this fish, it was one pebble, as you can see in the mouth, and he actually had a very unique deformity. In this video, you can see there is actually a flap of skin that was acting like a one-way valve, preventing the pebble from escaping. This koi had a several year history of a spinal deformity. This could potentially have been congenital, something he was born with, or a predator strike that healed incorrectly. He was able to maintain neutral buoyancy by having an overinflated cranial swim bladder, allowing him to act fairly normal for the amount of damage that had been done to his spine. You probably have met Lemon on one of our other YouTube videos. These radiographs were taken after she developed a negative buoyancy disorder, trying to figure out if her swim bladder was insufficient. Unfortunately for this fish, she did only have one chamber of swim bladder, which makes it a little bit harder to float, unfortunately meaning that her negative buoyancy disorder was permanent, but she had a good life otherwise. Marco was a koi that had a long history of a negative buoyancy disorder. Multiple radiographs and ultrasounds were unable to determine the cause of this fluid that had formed around the swim bladder. When necropsy was done, it was actually found that a rudimentary urinary bladder had formed around the swim bladder, unfortunately crushing all the air out of the swim bladder, causing the negative buoyancy. Radiographs are critical for fancy goldfish with buoyancy disorders. The fish on the top was negatively buoyant because as you can see in the lateral radiograph on the top right, there is a fluid line in the swim bladder indicating that there is fluid stuck in the swim bladder. Many fancy goldfish, unfortunately, have a very short physostomous duct that allows water and other fluids to easily enter the swim bladder. The fish on the bottom has a positive buoyancy disorder from additional air stuck in the GI tract. This can happen when fancy goldfish are voracious surface eaters and end up taking in too much air when they're eating at the surface. For help with your fish, please visit the American Association of Fish Veterinarians at fishvets.org or the World Aquatic Veterinary Medical Association at wavma.org.